Hello, it's Morgan. I'm here with a small tutorial on how to use the digital borrowing services available from the Wyalusing Public Library. You are going to need your full library card number, the whole thing, not just the last six digits, and access to the internet. Um, once you're online, you want to go to the Wyalusing Library website, which is wyalusinglibrary.org, and in the menu at the top, choose online resources and then from the drop down menu you want to go to eBranch to go and that will take you to the website for the eBranch to go overdrive service that the Wyalusing Library subscribes to. If you are planning to use this solely online, so you are planning to read the book while you're online or listen to it while you're online, you can sign in right here. Um, it is going to ask you to select your library first, and Wyalusing Library is all the way at the very bottom of the drop-down list. And then you'll have to enter your entire card number and then your phone number is um, your password. So the phone number that's on record at the library would be your password. And then you can sign in here and read online. However, that's not necessarily the most convenient thing to do. It might be better to be able to download your books um, so that you don't need to be online to read them. And in order to do that, um, it's going to be a little bit different for every device. So you can do this on an uh, a smartphone, a tablet, on your computer, desktop or laptop computer. You can use an iPod to listen to audiobooks. You can use an e-reader to read um, digital books. Um, any of those things will work, um, but they each work a little bit differently. So in order to figure out what is going to work for your particular device, go to the Help button in the upper right part of the screen there. And then there are two ways to go about this. You can either choose devices, which will give you a list of all the devices, and then you can narrow down what you need to look for. Or um, getting started um, gives you just sort of an overview of how this works. Um, and then at the bottom of this page, there is another list of specific types of devices so that you can get more specific help. Basically, what you're going to need to do is get um, either the Libby app or the OverDrive app onto your internet connected device. So um, for instance, if you are directly connected to the internet with a smartphone or a tablet, you can get the app on that device and work from there. If you're going to be using an e-reader or an iPod or MP3 player, that is not directly connected to the internet, you'll need to have the OverDrive app on your computer that is connected so that you can then transfer things to your e-reader or iPod or, or MP3 player. But if you've got a device that directly connects, um, I would highly recommend if it will support it, getting the Libby app. Um, this is a really user-friendly app, um, but it's newer and it does require a certain level of operating system. So if you have an older device, it might not work with your particular um, smartphone or tablet. However, they also have an OverDrive app, which should work with just about anything. Um, so the OverDrive app, also very good, just more pared down, um, not quite so cute version <laughs> of uh, the app. So it, it will work um, just fine, um, but if you can use the Libby app, I highly recommend it. The Sarah app is for public school libraries. It does not apply to your Wyalusing library card, um, so you can ignore that. Um, but basically, uh, you're going to need one of those apps on the device that's connected to the internet so that you can then use, um, download and use the ebooks and audiobooks either by transferring them to your e-reader or by reading them on your tablet or smartphone. And from this list of devices, you would just select the thing that you are using and follow through to get more information about how to then use it. All right, hopefully that will help you get started. Oh, and then once you have the app, you will need to sign in inside the app with your library card number, again, the full number, and your password, which is your phone number that's on file at the library. 
All right, hopefully that helps you get started. Um, look forward to some future tutorials uh, specifically on using the Libby app, um, and hopefully you'll be able to enjoy your digital books and audiobooks at home.